Hi everyone, we are going to be doing a reading to see what is coming through for you. I hope you are doing well. All right, <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> here we go. Um, so this is your reading. This is for all star signs. If you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you. So we will definitely have a look and see what is coming through. Also, if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below. Since I do giveaways every single month, personal services with me are listed down below. There's personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, things like um, um, rituals for different areas of your life, money, love, protection, black magic energy removal, and there's intention items which thousands of people have seen results with. There's um, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, your purse, sage bundles, candles, which are handmade, really special. Um, a new one has launched, which is the black magic energy removal. These are handmade. They are also plant-based and they are safety tested as well. Um, we have so many candles on there. This is the new one that has come out. So really special. Um, uh, and yeah, everything is listed in the description box below. All right, so let's begin. Let's see what's coming through here for your reading. Ace of Cups with a Fool. Okay, so someone is very foolish in love. Now, when I say this, what I actually mean is that they haven't always acted their best towards you, okay? They have been sometimes very spontaneous, very um, kind of, um, what's the word, like immature, okay? <clears throat> as I'm literally losing my voice, very immature when it comes to love and perhaps not acting the right way. And I just feel like there's quite a strong energy here of them not purposely trying to act this way, but for sure, just through certain circumstances and situations, they just have not, you know, perhaps been the most communicative, the most open. They may not have been saying or doing the right things. And I just feel here that the Ace of Cups shows that they do have love deep down there for you and they still do care about you despite the fact that half the time they just want to live their life, they just want to do things, they don't want to be attached to anybody, they just want to be free and do things their own way and they have this view on love that it has to be attached, you know, like you have to be joint to the hip and it's suffocating, it's overwhelming, it's too pressurizing, it's too much but that's not true because actually a companion is someone that you share laughter with, joy with, like it's a companion, it's like someone who is there for you, you know, and I think that they have felt in the past, especially when they didn't treat you very right, that it's too much, but now I think that their mind is changing, their thought is changing, that actually, do you know what, this isn't terrible. And the sun goes to show that they're going to act on this as well because, you know, the sun is this positive energy. It's about making something happen. It's about recognizing and realizing what they've got in front of them and what to do about the entire situation. They haven't acted always in the most proactive way. They always, they haven't always done the right thing, let's say. They haven't always acted in a way that has made you feel confident about the entire situation. But What's really interesting here is that their love for you deep down is coming to the surface and now they're recognizing and realizing that actually by being immature, they are blocking their blessings. And that's your affirmation for this reading. By being immature, you are blocking your blessings. So, you know, if this reading resonates with you so far, comment it down below. Um, but of course, you know, like the video and subscribe as well uh, for more. And it's true, like, you know, acting immature really does it's, it's going, they go further from themselves, right? When you act immature, you're not really you. But, I mean, yes, you are, but you're not, you know? Um, by acting mature, you are aligning to your highest self. By acting immature, you are a, a more low vibrational energy. And that's really what we have here, is that, you know, they kind of just were thinking, me, 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 I, 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 protecting the ego, protecting their pride, not really thinking about everything as a whole. And now they don't want to let you go because, and let's see why. Is it just me or does my index finger look a bit pink even though it's not in real life? Hmm. How strange. Very strange. Okay, anyways. <laughs> We've got the King of Swords, okay? So this is them recognizing and realizing what you mean to them. It is them wanting to be around you. It is them realizing, you know, just how truthful and honest you have always been. They don't want to be away from you. They are starting to realize that you have always been 
you always talk the talk, you always walk the walk, and you don't say one thing and do another. I feel here that there is a male in their life who has been very, very abrupt, rude, cold, and very dismissive of your person. It has made them recognize and realize your true worth and value in their life. And it has made them realize that actually, you have always been who you say you are. And that is why they are not wanting to let you go anymore because the people they trusted have been dismissive towards them. Well, five of pentacles, see? And you've also got the four of pentacles. Their personal relationships aren't doing so well. People that they were very close to are drifting away from them. They are outgrowing certain situations and actually being left out in certain social situations, certain family situations. People are not being very nice to them and even work situations as well. And this is that exact moment, okay, that they have been they've been looking for. In many ways, they've always felt that love towards you. They've always felt like you're super positive. You're an incredible person, but they've always needed to see something in order to believe that that is the case. Because, you know, immaturity can sometimes suppress those really deep, vulnerable moments and those epiphanies that they, you know, that they need in order to recognize that you are the right person for them. But now they have recognized it. They've recognized it because people have been dismissive and rude, there's a very specific male here who has been not very nice to your person, and it's just made them think, wait a second, oh my goodness, like, I am surrounding myself with people that don't care about me, and literally, like, being not nice and very immature to a person that does care about me, a person that does want to support me, a person that does want to be with me, and that's huge, um, gosh, I say that word a lot, don't I? That's huge. <laughs> It's a big message though. Look at that, you got the High Priestess and the Empress. I mean, they recognize and realize your worth. They like you, they care about you. They're sure, they don't treat you the best, let's say, but they do like you a lot. And you know what? The Empress is really powerful because the Empress represents Venus. And this goes to show that their feelings of love are absolutely there for you. They feel like you are smart, you are knowledgeable, you are intellectual, you are balanced, you are grounded, you are humble. And it makes them honestly think about just how incredible all of those qualities and virtues are because people around them don't have those kind of qualities and they don't really care. I think that's the that's it, you know, people around them don't care, they don't care about others, they don't care about themselves, they are stuck in their own cycle, their own rut, they just want to be who they are, and they don't care about the community, they're just, like, not, you know, and your person wants to break out of the cycle, We have the page of wands. Wow, look at that. Physical attraction is absolutely there. Like, do not even doubt that in any way, shape, or form. Um, it is there. Um, they're not letting you go now. There's no way that they're going to let you go. They are taking some time to think about things, but they're going to be right back around talking to you and communicating with you. Um, I mean, look at that. Four of wands, right? They know that there's something special between the two of you. Eight of pentacles is about making things work, progressing things along, putting in that action. And we've also got here as well the um, seven of pentacles, right? So the seven and the eight here is really powerful because seven is about reflection and then boom, eight is about making the action. <laughs> reflection, then action. That's another good affirmation as well. Reflection and action. Um, yeah, comment that down below as well if you wanted to, but that's, that's a nice one. Okay, Four of Cups, they've been clearly rejected in a situation. It's making them think so much more about how stronger the two of you are with one another. Seven of Wands. Yeah, again, reflection and action. That's exactly it. And you've also got here the Six of Wands as well. You know, this is about coming towards you, progressing towards you, making things work, no more excuses. And there you go, okay? Knight of Wands, taking action towards you. They really, really care about you. They do like you. 
they want to move things forward, they don't want to continuously make excuses for themselves and just get stuck in this rut that they then can't get themselves out of, it doesn't make them feel happy and it doesn't make them feel good. We've got the three of wands, a bit more time to reflect, um, we've got the two of wands, they've been comparing you to other people around them and the ace of wands as well which clearly shows that they have made a decision, you started with an ace, we end with an ace, clearly shows that they know what their decision is, they know what they feel towards you and that is not changing any time soon. All right, so this is your reading. Now, of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, rereading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And take care, everyone, and I will see you all very, very soon. All right? Um, I have TikTok and Instagram, actually, as well. If you want to follow me on that, feel free to do so. The links are in the description box below, and I'll see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye.